two, two parts to that. Um, I don't know that concussions are totally preventable. It's a fast sport. You know, you get blindsided. You know, um, so, you know, somebody goes up for a pass and they're focusing on the ball and they get hit. But we know that concussions are avoidable. You can lessen your risks of, of a concussion. And the Irish study points that out. They've done some studies with hockey as well that say the same thing. And what that is, it's the predictive nature of your brain and the predictive nature of the uh, balance. Actually, that's a bad word. The predictive uh, nature of how your brain patterns your movement. In other words, we use our vision, we use the balance in our ears, and then we use input that comes back from our muscles and joints. That all has to get integrated in basically your brain stem, working with your brain, so that you are able to predict where you're going next. And that is probably the key to re concussion recovery. Meaning that your brain heals 10 to 14 days, but what doesn't heal properly is the predictive nature of all those three systems that are married together. So what has to happen is your program after a concussion needs to incorporate those three things along with your brain. Meaning the input we give our brain, the brain needs to be able to incorporate that and say, here's where we're going next. We know without a doubt now that what happens when you have a concussion, when your brain is injured, the reflex becomes delayed. And it's that delay in the reflex that makes you so susceptible to a second concussive incident and to really orthopedic injuries. You can't protect your body in a uh, very rapidly moving uh, environment. And so there's a lot of good rehabilitation exercise, not just strength, not just range of motion of joints, but those three systems together, incorporating your vision in your eyes, incorporating those balance receptors in your ears, and then incorporating all the things that happens in, in your joints so that your brain is able to go great, everything's working together, and now we can participate in fast play. At HDPT, we've done a lot of hard work on diagnosis of those things, meaning that how do we evaluate the vision? How do we evaluate the balance receptors in your ears? And how do we evaluate your joints and muscles? How does that impact you know, basically what hits your brain. And we can tell you that. And so we will target which part of those systems is underperforming. We will absolutely say, okay, let's work hard on your vision or let's work hard on the balance and let's work hard on the joints. And those three things combined give us a very, very high probability that when we release you back, we're not worried about one of those systems being at fault and making you susceptible to further injury.